Hey everyone, welcome back to another landing-ish tutorial. Um, today we're taking a look at uh, go-arounds or missed approaches, or you can also call them wave-offs, as I've learned. Um, I've never really practiced too much with uh, go-arounds because um, usually if I miss the first time I would get too upset and just end it there. Um, but um, for the sake of learning, I will try to go on. Um, so for our tutorial today, I uh, went to skyvector.com. I use that a lot, generally, um, to scout out new places. And um, this is not a new place. I've known about this airport for a long time. Um, and if anyone can guess what it is in the next three seconds, you get a cookie or something. This is in the Pacific Ocean. This is the um, Midway Atoll um, International Airport, uh, Hen Hendrick or Hendrick Field or something. Uh, Henderson Field. There we go. So we have Henderson Field here. Um, nice little um, airport. Not too big. Um, great scenery though. Uh, nice little island over here too. Um, so this is, I thought this would be a good place to do a tutorial, uh, flat, uh, terrain, easy to spot the location, you know, it's, like, the only thing here, uh, kind of hard to miss, um, and the visuals also appealed to me. <laughs> so with this, um, this is going to be a lot easier than working in a city or, um, working in the mountains. Um, this is just to start off, then we can move to advanced stuff later. But, um, anyway, today, like I said, we're going to go over the procedures for go-arounds. Um, I managed to do a little, um, info finding, and I, uh, came up with a few notes here. I will set above next to this chart. Um, the stuff I've gathered so far is, um... If you are on final and you're once you get over the runway and you decide that you have to go a go around, um, basic, you know, uh, takeoff style things: apply full power, uh, pull your flaps and gear up, um, make sure your heading set, um, and um, generally in go rounds, you go to the left side because of the pilot seat. Um, now, the length between them varies between runways, and also the ATC, uh, air traffic controller, may also redirect you to um, a different point, or um, different VOR, or they may uh, put you in a holding pattern if they're experiencing a lot of traffic. Um, right here, standard uh, height is 1,000 feet above ground level, unless um, corrected by the air traffic controller. Um, as you expect, um, bigger airports, um, you know, they'll space it, they'll space the distance out more. Um, I think my mouse is hidden, that's why, that's not a good thing. Oh well. Um, anyway, as you can read the procedures here, um, not too much explaining needs to be done. Um, I will go into Flight Simulator and show you guys how to do this. Um, it's just a lot easier for me to do this video than to switch over, than to go back and forth. So with that said, I'll be using a lot of these terms, um, upwind, crosswind, downwind, base, and final. So with this chart here, you can familiarize yourself with that when I'm talking about it later on in the video. Um, with that said, I'm still debating on whether or not to use the ATC traffic. Um, they have a go-around option button. Um, when you when you have a set, a set flight plan flight plan with them, but um, we'll just uh, we'll see how that works. So with that said, we got our nice little uh, chart here to give us uh, heading and stuff. And I do not know how to read all this. So uh, and as in all my videos, just to let you know, I'm not an expert in this at any level. So please don't don't be too mad. Um, Anyway, so 243, we'll remember that. 45 degree angle, 198 coming in. So, with that said, 
let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm back. Um, I was getting ready to go into Flight Simulator, then I decided to take a closer look at this chart. And, sure enough, we have a missed approach right here. Climb to 2000, then left turn. Well, I did get the left turn, the left turn part correct. Um, that, uh, I almost missed that there. So, um, instead of 1000, we will be going at 2000, since this is the airport we will be using. Um, then left turn, you know, we'll go down on base or crosswind, you know, then we'll just start all over again. So with that said, now let's go. And we are back in the simulator. Um, I haven't done much, just went ahead and set the autopilot up. Um, just a little something. Um, not too much. Um, last time I was flying in this plane, it was, uh, I would say it's been a year or so. I'm more into the big planes, so I don't fly these little things anymore, but um, it's still nice to come back to them. Anyway, um, here we are. Not as fancy as in Google Earth. Uh, I would get a payware add-on, but I don't fly here very much. So, with that said, let's go ahead and um, take off. Um, we'll just do a standard, um, you know, just circle around the airport. Um, then we'll attempt to go around. The weather's set to real world, so, uh, won't have, um, or this will be the, whoa, okay. Too busy looking out the windows. It's going to be a rather boring flight. Um, I will more than likely skip until I start the approach because no one wants to see me just flying around for a little while. So um, I will be back when I set up uh, for my approach. Visibility greater than two zero miles. Sky condition clear. Temperature 15 Celsius, dew point 12 Celsius, altimeter 3003, pop on mic delta yank. Okay, that's window. enough of that. Um, I uh, went ahead and tuned into the traffic. Uh, apparently, there's no tower here. Um, so we go ahead and um, select a runway for landing. Um, to get to the AC, ATC menu, you click Alt, go into the flight, no, that's not it, it's one of these, there we go, air traffic control, right there, or you can click the little, um, I don't know, the, I call it the squiggly, next to the one, anyway, um, we will go ahead and back, nearest airport list, we will choose Henderson Field, and we will go and select runway for landing, and our runway is runway 24, so we will select runway 24. With that said, we only have a full stop, touch and go. Um, normally when you're talking to controller, you can choose to go around or not. Um, well, that's some nice looking water. Looking at it from a higher point, it's looks a lot nicer. Anyway, um, right now we are um, on crosswind, uh, getting ready to set up a base. Um, the, the more room you have for your approach, the better. Uh, I already have um, uh, my uh, pattern will be at 2,000 feet, which we are currently at. Um, speed. 
vari variable. Um, don't know what I'm saying. Um, shouldn't be too difficult. Length of the runway, 7,400. Elevation, 13 feet. A lot of this is not needed. Um, currently, I set my heading to 63 degrees, because that is the exact opposite of the heading that we need to be going, which is 243. So we will go ahead and start our turn here in a moment. Just getting adequately set up. So we can go ahead and do that. And we can take a nice look at the water. Um, okay, we might be doing a little bit more turning here. Uh, we'll go ahead and set up to 243. Now, the problem I have with um, FSX is that it doesn't like to maintain the same. Oops. Um, heading as real life airports. Um, they often don't like to do that, which I've never been too fond of. Um, let's go ahead and turn off the heading. We'll do this ourselves. Uh, whoa, a little touchy. Um, I turned on the radar, or not the. <laughs> I turned on the um, weather just so you guys could hear what's going on. Uh, it, the wind started picking up uh, about 1,600 feet to uh, 2,000 and I guess above. Um, it is quite windy right now. Um, gear up. Whoa. Yes, gear is up. Uh, so we will go ahead and um, start our normal landing. Yes, I am aware that our gear is up. Turn off the autopilot, and we will go ahead and get started. Um, I'm not the best at flying these types of planes. Uh, I know I really need to get back into the smaller types, but um, it's been so long. But I will, uh, I will do my best. So, um, with that said, we will uh, up. go ahead. We'll try. And, um, like I mentioned before, go around could be for many reasons. Um, you're too high, you're too low, you're not lined up, uh, weather's just not favorable, um, there could be another plane on the runway, or, um, air traffic control could just tell you to go around, uh, because of the high volume. No, it's any of this stuff. There is a slight wind, um, nothing too awful. Now we are at 241. Um, the heading, if you remember, is 243. Um, this varies slightly, nothing too drastic. Um, now there's not much room here that I can really do, except... nice out here secluded and I will um, figure out a point to do a go around um, you don't have to actually land to do a go around I'm sure you already know that by now um, completely optional like uh, right now it looks like we're a little high so uh, Generally, if you can't take off, or sorry, take off all that speed at once, whoa, uh, all that um, altitude at once. See, we're high right now, so um, the pilot would be instead of forcing the plane on the ground, it would be best just to go around. So um, basically, we're high, and um, I don't think that I can push this plane on the ground.
ground fast enough, so we put one notch of flaps back up, apply power, and then we climb to our set altitude after a uh, positive rate is established, which it is, pull our gear up, and we will uh, go ahead and get set up for the go-round. Um, now that we're good, we can pull our flaps all the way up, and we would contact the tower telling them, or traffic telling everyone that we are going around. Um, since there's really no one out here, we generally don't have to worry about that too much. So, with that said, we will go ahead and climb before trying that again. Um, as indicated by the sectional charts, not sectional charts, just the regular charts, um, we are supposed to climb uh, to 2,000 feet, uh, then we are supposed to make a left-hand turn, sorry, we will make a left-hand turn, and then we will contact the tower. Um, fortunately, the tower is unavailable, so we will make a, a more or less 90 degree uh, left-hand turn, and we will try again. Just like always, I will go ahead and uh, or end this, and uh, I will start it back up once we are aligned with the runway again. And I have forgotten another thing. Um, as you can see here, when we set up, uh, we choose we select runway. Whoa, that's the wind I was talking about. When we select uh, our runway, we can uh, choose where we're at. Right now, we're on crosswind. So, we we'll go ahead and tell everyone that. And there's also a nifty little go around button that I forgot to press last time because I completely forgot it was there, so my bad. Sorry about that. Um, we are currently at our holding altitude of 2,000 feet. Uh, speed change uh, 63 uh, is our heading again. This is stuff you should already know. Um, We'll go ahead and line up once we get about a, a few miles off uh, the coast of uh, this last island here. Um, just wanted to show you guys this. Um, I'm sorry, again, I forgot about this. Um, I'm, I'm still learning, of course, so this is good for everyone. But I will be back again once uh, this is time to uh, land. We are now on more or less the final. So with that said, we will go ahead and start our descent, or our final descent. Um, this is um, more or less not needed. Um, this is just landing. This is something that's, uh, whoa. I guess it's not really needed. I'll just go ahead and add it to the video anyway. Um, pretty much know the basics um, for landing here. Um, is it too much to go over? Um, we learned about the charts and, um, most of the charts can be found on Sky Vector, the site I was on earlier. Um, as soon as you enter their map, or as soon as you enter their site, there's a huge map. Uh, choose your um, rough location of the airport, click it, and then it should give you all the information that you could possibly need about the uh, airport. So with that said, um, I will go ahead and land here and call it an evening, because I'm something. Um, I have started playing on the multiplayer more, well, the multiplayer side of uh, FSX. Um, kind of fun. I've uh, really only been playing it with my uh, school friends. Um, 
doesn't mean that I won't allow other people to join, it's just our hours are usually different from others. This is, uh, I mean, of course this varies. I, I have some friends that live in Australia, and I have some friends that live over in Europe. Um, just all depends. Um, this is a really late touchdown. I just couldn't tell with the trees. So, does this thing have any spoilers? Nope. Okay. A landing that you can walk away from is always a good landing. Um, or something like that. With that said, again, that is everything. Any more questions, leave them down in the description or send me a private message. Um, I usually do tutorials based on uh, private messages people send me, or, me or uh, I'll just do a tutorial on something that I think that uh, isn't well known. So with that, I will see you guys in the next video.